Another important invention around probabilities was the discovery of Bayesian networks. So Bayesian networks is a way to represent and reason knowledge and causal relationships, which is very compact and expressive. So Bayesian networks are such a representation, and they were named after Thomas Bayes. Reverend Thomas Bayes is the person who came up with Bayes' theorem, which later gave rise to Bayesian statistics. However, Bayesian networks were created by Judea Pearl, one of the biggest names in the history of AI. And Judea Pearl managed to make this connection from AI to logic and probability. So this is an example of Bayesian network, and you can see here that we have various variables, and then we have arrows that uh, indicate causal relationships, and then these arrows, there are some numbers behind them, and this is a table of conditional probabilities. So let's move on and see more about this. A formal definition of Bayesian network is that it consists of a directed graph with nodes and edges. The graph needs to be acyclic. This means there are no cycles. So a variable can point to another variable, but the second variable shouldn't point back to the original one. So this means there's some kind of cause and effect taking place. And there are two main components of the Bayesian network. One is the graph, which we already saw an example of one in the previous slide. The second one is a table of numerical probabilities. So this is an example of a very simple Bayesian network and also its representation in formulas. So we can see here that we have a variable C, which is affected by variables A and B. And the directed edges mean that there's a direct dependence on the part of the variable C from A and B. The absence of an edge between A and B means that these two variables are continuously independent given C. That is, if we know C, then we can infer A and B, but we don't really need B if we want to perform inference about the state of A and vice versa. If this is a bit complicated, we can just skip over this section and there's like tons of resources around the Bayesian networks and the technical details as to how to develop one. Here, I just want to present a simple example as to what the mathematical formulation looks like. And you can see that this network here is equivalent to this here. So for those of you who can understand the language of probabilities, this means the probability of A, B and C is equal to the probability of C given A and B times the probability of A times the probability of B. And this is a very nice example of a Bayesian network where we see all the elements we talked about earlier. We see a graph and we have four nodes and we see the edges and we see that cloudy points towards the sprinkler and the rain and the rain and the sprinkler point towards the wet grass. Here we also see the table of probabilities. So for each node, we have a table of probabilities and each node can be true or false. And there are different probabilities for this. So cloudy, 50% probability true, 50% probability false. Then rain is affected by the state of cloudy. So we can see that if cloudy is true, then the probability of rain is 0.8. Whereas if cloudy is a false, then the probability of rain is lower, 0.2. The same holds for sprinkler, and we see here that the table is simple, it's only two values, here it's four values, and here we have eight values, because the wet grass depends both on the sprinkler and the rain. This is a simple but very nice example that demonstrates how we can move from thinking about the causes and the different effects, create a graph, and then create the probabilities. Now, obviously, in the real world, sometimes we have to infer these probabilities. We might have data around some of those nodes, but we might not have data around some other nodes, and then there are algorithms that can infer the probabilities we need from those nodes. And this is why Bayesian networks are such a powerful tool for simulating various kinds of scenarios. It's very intuitive to think, to express systems, complex systems in terms of graphs. And then by expressing systems in terms of graphs and expressing the different causal relationships between them, we can understand them better. And then we can use whatever data we have or expert knowledge we have to run different experiments on this Bayesian network. And this will later on let us understand how different variables interact with each other and what would the final output of the system would be. Bayesian networks can really applied in any kind of problem. They can be applied in some traditional machine learning problems such as classification or regression. However, they can be applied in simulating factories, agent-based modeling scenarios, um, and many more. It's a very exciting class of models and algorithms, and really the, the things you can do are limited by your imagination and the kind of data you have at hand. 
And one issue, however, with Bayesian networks, I mean, this can be both an issue and an advantage, depends on how you look at it, is that because of their expressiveness, usually its network is custom. So its problem requires a new kind of network that will be created from scratch. This means that you need to spend a considerable amount of time thinking and designing the network and then playing around with it and testing it. And there are also many different tools you can use to do this. However, if you apply this model and technique in a complex problem, you'll very soon realize that it's very expressive and very powerful. Also, some good news is that Microsoft recently open sourced Infer.net, which is a language now open source, which can be used for probabilistic inference, including Bayesian networks. So this makes the development of Bayesian networks way easier. And obviously, there are other tools besides Infer.net, but this is a pretty encouraging step. This was Stelios from the Tesseract Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video about probability and Bayesian networks. And I hope to see you soon in another one of our videos. Thank you and goodbye.